Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are reacting to Lim Young Woong and this time the song is called Grain of Sand and we're reacting to the music video so let's go. <laughs> and we have the subtitles. And we have the subtitles. That's the ballad. Very different. The first song we did was like an anthem, very, mm -hmm. you know, like, uh, it reminded me of Pitbull. This is like, yeah, as you said, a ballad. A ballad. Very, very different vibe of the song. Aww. Wow. He has a really good voice. He has a really singer, good voice. Yeah. He has a really good voice. He reminds me of some people that from back in the day when they were singing. Who who are these some people? Like Michael Bolton. That that's your mama's guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's a very good voice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, I wonder if he's playing the guitar too. It's very nostalgic. Something about this beat I re is familiar uh, to me. It's uh, it's not familiar to me, but it does remind me like of the younger times. I guess I would listen to the music like that more often than I would. Yeah. I just wouldn't hear it now anymore. Yeah. But like you know, ten, fifteen years ago, I would hear this music more commonly. But I don't think this mu they stopped producing this music. I think they still make it. It's just I don't listen to it anymore. Yeah. So I think it's just in that sense nostalgic a little bit. What do you think a grain of sand is a metaphor for? How small something can be and is vast. How, how small we are in the world? Yeah. Because even if you take a small like sand, it's like, imagine so much more sand that makes up a big thing. Mm. Yeah, because it's definitely it's a, a metaphor small for matter. something. Yeah. yeah. So it's a love song you're singing to a oh, girl. Oh yes, you didn't pick that up a long time ago. No, because I was, was giving me long. This is for the girl. That's why I was trying to understand what what does he for the mean girls. by a grain of sand. I was trying to get the metaphor, but and now he's saying, okay, he just stood it was for the girl. She made the imprint in his heart. Mm. Aww. Do you think this is Korea? Oh, I don't know. Is there deserts? I don't know. Because the, you know, like all GMC truck. This, this mm -hmm. is giving me like Arizona. Mm. I wonder. <laughs> this part looks like a GMC commercial. Uh, <laughs> no, the, 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 you don't the know, car, maybe he has like a sponsor. Delish, uh, sponsor? It, yeah. Like, like, you know how they have like in the car commercials, they show yeah. like on all surfaces, like Audi has on the yeah. winter, like in the in the mountains, on the snow. So this is like GMC driving trucks in the desert mm. on the side. <laughs> When you zoom in, it gets blurry. Uh, I wish I could see what the sign says so you would know where yeah, it is. Yeah, or at least see the license plate. Yeah, that's what I was looking for the license plate, but I couldn't see it, but I wanted yeah. to see the sign. Whatever. Oh, 
another American car as well. Yeah, too, the, as well. the cars are American muscle cars, so yeah. I I think it's filmed here in the U.S. for yeah. for that reason. But I mean, they could have these cars, you know, in South Korea too. I'm not. <sighs> Uh, I think it may be filmed in Arizona. Or it's just the, the you know the desert. I'm Texas. I'm not sure if they have deserts out there in South yeah. Korea like that. You know that's that's the only thing. <laughs> yeah, the the mountains in the background, mm -hmm. the desert. It gives me Arizona. I wonder if it's actually a song about a person or his experience because I can also see it like more being about like the environment the it's, space he's in it's definitely a metaphor I think yeah. it's a bubble and thunder the whole yeah. song I, I do feel like the song is he's because it seems like he was talking to a lady, mm -hmm. but there's definitely like a, a I feel like, like earth. Yeah, earth. it's like something left an impression on him, like a yeah. new experience. I think he's talking about the girl, the girl left the impression, but he's, oh. you know, metaphorically saying that in terms of like the sand and yeah. wind and like you see the sea, the shore. Yeah, a lot of appreciation yeah. to earth. Yeah, what I will say, there's no word like that in Arizona, so I don't know. Mm. It's as if I could also see this song being like an environmental song. For the environment, like save the environment. Yeah, uh, well, again, you know, these are the translations. Yeah, so we, okay. That's, you can, you <laughs> always have to be like uh, uh, more the caution because yeah. you, you don't know how accurate they are. Yeah. So. But in terms of his singing, to mm. to relate, mm. they did say in the comments that he's the best singer in K-pop, mm, and yeah. he definitely. Yeah. Had, I mean, yeah, his vocals are really. His beautiful. vocals are really good. You know, you, you don't have like that much experience to know like everybody yeah. in K-pop, yeah. but yeah. he definitely he's, he's there at the top. He's a very good singer. Um, but I think the subtitles were accurate because it says provided by Penelope Kim. So I think uh, they actually a person translated. It's not. Mm. I think it's not auto generated. So they might be. Oh, it's good because yeah. the auto generated. Yeah, the know. auto generated. They be tripping sometimes, yeah. but I think this is accurate. But this is a be very beautiful song, and you know I look forward to more music from him. Yeah, let us yeah. know in the comments what the, the meaning of the song. What was the metaphor for? Mm -hmm. For exactly, mm -hmm. are we right or are we wrong? Oh. Okay, so as always, guys, if you made it this far, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, share as much kindness as possible. Bye, guys.